Hello everyone, this is Stacy, your friend, and I'm very saddened in my heart today. For three days, God has been speaking to me. And when I say he has been speaking to me, he woke me up on Tuesday at 4.36 a.m. in the morning. And I was awoken by the rolling of thunder. And out of that thunder, I heard a voice said, The great and dreadful day is nigh. And I said, what? And it was with such force that I jumped off my bed. And he said, my people are not ready. But my hour is near. That was on Tuesday. On yesterday, he sent me into Ezekiel chapter 33. He said, you are a watchman. And I know you don't want to go out there and talk. But I've assigned you as a watchman to the nations to watch and to warn. And if you do not warn the people of what is to come, all those souls, their blood will be upon your shoulder. I come to you with a broken heart. Because so many of us are lined up on our way to a place of torment and darkness. And we need to let go of our will into God's will. Today, he came back to me after my devotion. And he said to me, go to Revelations chapter 22. And then I began to read and he began to speak to me and he said, and I'm reading verbatim from my journal. I'm reading from my journal because this is what God gave to me. He said, I am coming soon and my reward is with me. And anyone whose garment is stained, they shall not enter into my eternal glory. But they shall be rewarded for the evil they have done and the lake of fire shall be their portion. As for those whose garments are without stains and blemish, they shall be rewarded to reign with me. Harden not your heart this day, as I send you my word with my messenger. Shepherds that are leading my flock astray, with strange doctrines and looking away from an holy acts because they see money and not counsel my sheep about the sins in their lives that is separating them from me. Woe be unto you. Your punishment will be great. It would have been better if you weren't born. And he sent me to Jeremiah chapter 23 from verse 1 to verse 5, where he talks about the worthless shepherd. And in verse 5, he said he's, verse 4 and 5, he talks about uplifting, raising up pastors after his heart. Then he continued to say, this is your opportunity to repent. Repent! Repent, for I will strip you naked and I will lift your skirt over your head. Repent, repent now, says God. Come back to me and receive and I will receive you. I will clean you up and pour out my spirit upon you and anoint you afresh. Come. Come, come. Do not stiffen your neck to my word. Little children, yes, 
I call you little children because in my sight, that's what you are. Hear my voice and answer the call. Great calamity and destruction is knocking at the door. Come, 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 says the Spirit of God. I will give you rest. I will give you peace. I will heal you. I will restore you from your backslidden state. I will restore you from your losses and crown you with my favor. Come quickly, for my coming is very near, says the Spirit of God. You must be ready, children, for my coming is near, very near, says the Spirit of God. My heart is broken. He has been speaking to me for three days. When he first came to me, it was 4.36 in the morning two days ago. In a ball of thunder and lightning. And I heard the audible voice said, The great and dreadful day is near. But my people are not ready. I plead with you today to make your calling an election sure. To be a Christian, to be a believer of Jesus Christ. It is not easy. I can tell you, it is hard to, to be a true Christian. Temptations are always knocking at the door. Evil thoughts are always coming in your mind. But he has given you the power. To thread upon things that are unholy and unclean. So today I plead with you with all my heart. To let go. Sin is pretty. It is tasty. It is attractive. It is beautiful. The wages of a man seem right. But in the end it brings death. I speak life to you today and I curse the spirit of death and I pray that you will repent and come back to God. With this, I bless you. May the Lord keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Thank you. Please share this with as many people as you can. God bless you.